At ECTC 2012, 2.5 and 3D technologies emerged once again as the main topic of conversation. In addition to nine technical tracks, a panel discussed the transforming role of the packaging foundries, and keynote speaker Greg Bartlett of Global Foundries pointed to 3D as the cure for silicon's woes. 3D Insights asked several other industry experts to weigh in with their thoughts on the progress of 3D commercialization. Hi, uh, I'm Raj Penze. I, I chaired a session today in ECTC on the transformed role of OSATs. Um, interesting takeaways. First, everybody agrees that going forward, the business profile for OSATs will change a lot. There will be much higher capital intensity. Uh, there will be higher proportion of R&D expense as percent of revenue. But there was an interesting twist, which, uh, if you will, is uh, like a blessing in disguise for the OSATs. Uh, the model that foundries like TSMC are promoting to control the entire supply chain, including the packaging portions, it might play out well for the OSATs because that will set a price expectation at a much higher gross margin level, which TSMC is used to, and perhaps the OSATs can inherit that and enjoy the higher gross margins going forward. So all in all, very interesting session. Thank you. My name is David McCann. Uh, I represent Global Foundries. I'm responsible for our packaging R&D as well as our supply chain. 3D TSV is very critical to our customers at solving the power and memory bandwidth issues that are facing them in barriers of bringing performance to help sell their products in the marketplace. So we're trying to implement TSVs into both 2.5D and 3D solutions. And this conference is a great place for us to learn and network how the rest of our industry is progressing and how we can contribute to that. Hi, I'm Venki Sundaram from Georgia Tech PRC, and I'm here at ECTC promoting our glass interposer technology, which we are working with a large industry consortium. And uh, this 3D glass interposer, as you can see, uh, we are promoting it as a very cost-effective but high-density interposer technology for 2.5D and 3D packaging for the future. Hi, I'm Jan Vardaman, president of TechSearch International, and we're celebrating our 25-year anniversary this year. And we're at ECTC, and here we're seeing a lot of people talk about the movement from PowerPoint engineering to real engineering. We're seeing a lot of work and application and announcements in the silicon interposer area, but there's a lot of demand, pent-up demand, for a true 3DIC stack. And we will see that in the future, but there's a lot of resources that have to be committed to solve those issues before we can go into high volume manufacturing. My name is Phil Marcoux. I'm happy to announce that we have an effort going to start an organization called the 3D BC, BC for Business Council. The intent of the 3D BC is to not be so much as a technical forum as it is a business forum to enable executives to help sort through and make educated decisions on when to invest in this new technology. So we will be announcing more of that as we develop the uh, infrastructure and the uh, BC organization.